Hey Brinley, it's Mrs. McRoy here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about some of the stuff that I sent home um, in an envelope for you over the weekend. I mailed it on Friday, so hopefully you got it or you're going to get it real soon. I wanted to go over some Monday stuff with you just to kind of show you what we're doing in class. This week we're doing the letter G. I'm going to do a little demonstration for you and show, we, show you how to make a proper G. So, a couple weeks ago we did the letter C. So we're going to start off by making a C and then bringing a straight line in. Not a six. They're very different. This one is a continuous loop all the way to the side. This one comes in with a straight line. Oh, almost touching, but not quite. So we're going to try that again. Here we go. Make a C. Straight line in. Perfect. Now we're going to do a lowercase g. A lowercase g is a combination of two letters. We have an O and then we have a J and the tail comes down and curls up. Lowercase g gets to sit on the line just like the letter P does. If you remember back from the letter P, it also sat on the line. So our G sits on the line as well. So one more time for G. Circle with a J. It comes down and it curls like a tail. Good job. So in your packet of things that I sent home with you, I have a G paper that looks like this. It has a goat. We're going to trace, then make our own, trace, and then make our own, just like we normally do in class. I'm going to use a marker so that you can see better. Of course, the first thing on your paper is your name. I know you know that. So I come down here, I start at the dot, I make a C, straight line in. Start at the dot, I curl around, straight line in. Make a C, straight line in. I'm taking my time, my hand is not coming off the paper. Now it's time for me to make some of my own. There are one, two, three, four dots which means I have to make four of my own G's. Here I go. And I make a C and I bring the line in. Make a C, bring the line in. Make a C, bring the line in. Make a C, bring the line in. Perfect. Now we're down to the bottom for our lowercase G's. Here we go. Circle, make a J. It hangs off of the line. Circle with a J hanging off the line. And I continue to trace that all the way across the page. Again, I am not lifting my marker off of the paper. So one, two, three, four dots at the bottom. Four dots means I have to do four by myself. Circle with a J. Circle, J. Circle, J. Circle, J. Perfect. There you go, good job, those are your G's. All right, next thing you should see in your packet, we had math. It looks like this. We're comparing things that are heavy. 